What's the WTO all about? It's all about greed. It's all about, look at these kids up here. They got a sign up that says, don't trade our future. For these young kids in the street today, it's about their future being traded off by corporations who frankly don't give a shit what happens to them. decisions that close and lock doors that affect the lives of every American, you and me, and many of the people on this earth. Its membership is not only comprised of financial giants like David Rockefeller, but also politicians like President Clinton and former Presidents Bush and Carter. Trilateralism refers to the Trilateral Commission, which was organized in 1973 by David Rockefeller and many other people. And it basically has to do with the management of the entire globe, the management of the world economy in the interest of global corporations and banks. The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul, was recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I ask you now consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to announce my introduction of and request co-sponsors for a privileged resolution to withdraw the United States from the World Trade Organization. Last week, the Wall Street Journal reported that the United States was dealt a defeat in a tax dispute with the European Union by an unelected board of international bureaucrats. It seems that according to the WTO, $2.2 billion in United States tax reductions for American businesses violates WTO's rules and must be eliminated by October 1st of this year. Much could be said about the WTO's mistaken Orwellian notion that allows citizens to retain the fruits of their own labor constitutes subsidies and corporate welfare. However, we needn't even reach the substance of this particular dispute prior to asking by what authority does the World Trade Organization assume jurisdiction over the United States federal tax policy? That's the question. At last reading, the Constitution required that all appropriations bill originate in the House and specify that only Congress has the power to lay and collect taxes. Taxation without representation was a predominant reason for America's fight for independence during the American Revolution. Yet now we face an unconstitutional delegation of taxing authority to an unelected body of international bureaucrats. Let me assure you, Mr. Speaker, this nation does not need yet another bureaucratic hurdle to tax reduction. Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution reserves to Congress alone the authority for regulating foreign commerce. According to Article 2, Section 2, reserves to the Senate the sole power to ratify agreements, namely treaties, between the United States government and other governments. We all saw the recent demonstrations at the World Trade Organization meetings in Seattle. Although many of those folks who were protesting were indeed rallying against what they see as evils of free trade and capitalist markets, the real problem when it comes to the World Trade Organization is not free trade. The World Trade Organization is the furthest thing from free trade. Instead, it is an egregious attack upon our national sovereignty, and this is the reason why we must vigorously oppose it. No nation can maintain its sovereignty if it surrenders its authority to an international collective. And since sovereignty is linked so closely to freedom, our very notion of American liberty is at stake in this issue. Let's face it, free trade means trade without interference from governmental or quasi-governmental agencies. The World Trade Organization is a quasi-governmental agency and hence is not accurate to describe it as a vehicle of free trade. Let's call a spade a spade. The World Trade Organization is nothing other than a vehicle for managed trade whereby the politically connected get the benefits of exercising their position as a preferred group. Preferred, that is, by the Washington and international political and bureaucratic establishments. As a representative of the people of the 14th District of Texas and a member of the United States Congress sworn to uphold the Constitution of this country, it is not my business to tell other countries whether or not they should be in the World Trade Organization. They can toss their own sovereignty out the window if they choose. I cannot tell China or Britain or anybody else that they should or should not join the World Trade Organization. That is not my constitutional role. I can, however, say that the United States of America ought to withdraw its membership and funding from the WTO immediately.